Hey everybody, it's Charles here for HumbleMechanic.com. I have a special guest to take the question of how do I start buying tools as a new technician? So I'm gonna welcome the world famous Brian's Mobile One. Hey guys, I'd like to say thanks for this opportunity. What I would recommend is ask yourself a few questions and it depends on the scenario what you're going into. And the big questions are, how much money do you have to spend up front? Are you debt adverse or are you okay with getting into debt? If you're going to a trade school, you might want to wait before getting into trade school because a lot of them give pretty good discounts to some of the tool truck options that you may have. So what I would recommend is say, hey, what's my budget and do I have means to secure them? Uh, this may come as a surprise, but oftentimes if you don't secure your your tools depending on what shop you hire in at you may run into a problem where your tools disappear so you may buy state-of-the-art tools but not invest in a box first and not be able to secure them you may have a beautiful set of uh, whatever name brand wrenches but you'll be missing the 10 millimeter or you'll be missing 12 or something like that that hurts <laughs> So if you don't have means for securing them, what I would recommend is to go with something less expensive perhaps and then just work your way up. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, a lot of people are kind of a tool snob or whatnot. I'm not. You know, I use what works. Uh, in the beginning, it's a really good idea to make some money, get some money put together so that you can get stuff done, but you can't make any money if you don't have something to start with. So you just gotta ask yourself those questions. Do I have a way to secure it? And what's my budget like right now? And like I say, if you can get some discounts uh, working at a tech, or not working while you're in tech school, uh, that might be something to really uh, plan for, budget for. I'll probably add one other thing. You can always upgrade tools down the road, I think. Don't be afraid to buy, you know, even if it's the cheap stuff, it's what you can afford. Like Brian said, you got to start somewhere. You got to start making money before you can afford those really Not expensive tools. with getting a set of Harbor Freight tools or something like that, and then upgrade them later. Make some, pull down some cash with those Harbor Freight tools, save a little cash in the process, and then when you get the chance to get some nicer stuff. Personally, what I've done is something similar to that. I was working two jobs and going to college and paying off a bunch of medical bills when I was starting out. So what I had to do, uh, and I had to start out a couple of times, so that's been an option that I've exercised and done well. I didn't have the luxury of going to tech school. I was kind of raised in this and uh, kind of hodgepodge my way, but I'll tell you, if you can get some good tools uh, that will last and go the distance, it's cheaper to buy something right the first time rather than to replace it. But in terms of strategy, uh, there's a bunch of different ways to do it. You just got to look at what your finances are and then make a plan from there. Awesome. There you guys have it. Brian, thanks so much for answering the question. Check out his channel. I'll be sure to link it up. I always forget which side it links up on, but I'll link it up. Uh, you guys probably already know who Brian's mobile one is anyway. So uh, thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate the time. My pleasure.